welcome to my advice corner. Now, I don't know why I feel compelled to be the one to give you advice at 28 years of age. I am very wise. Essentially, this is, I guess, advice that I want to give that I've learned about in the past few years of my life and advice that I have neglected to take myself. I've had a lot of, I guess, regrets and a lot of kick myself in the ass moments because I haven't taken my own advice on this. So I thought I would just drop some fucking knowledge on you. So my first, I guess my first tidbit of advice is don't save your money. Now I know that sounds contradicting because I think that it's really important to take care of your finances and to be really responsible with your income and your future plans but what the fuck is the point of saving all of your money for retirement when you just slave your youth away? You need to live your life. Next thing you know, you're gonna wake up 65 years old, finally taking that trip of a lifetime. Have fun jerking off in Ibiza, Phil. Fucking waste. When you're going through a breakup, buy a puppy. I know it sounds extremely irresponsible, but honestly, it's the best thing you can do for your mental health. Break up, get a puppy. Now, I don't recommend going through numerous breakups in life and getting like 10 dogs, but I mean like if you're going through a really rough breakup or a rough time and you don't already have a dog, just get a fucking dog. It may sound irresponsible, but you just bought yourself love for the next 10 to 15 years. And that being said, don't ever stay in a relationship that does no longer serve you. You need to learn how to get up from the table when love is no longer being served. Random. But when you're going through customs as a woman traveling by yourself, make sure you look like garbage. Even if you wear so much as fucking mascara, you're going to get flagged as a hooker. This may sound super dramatic, but I have been flagged and interrogated and asked very hookerish questions because I wear fake eyelashes going through TSA into another country by myself. Also, public service announcement. If you're going into the US and you admit that in your lifetime you have ever smoked marijuana, they can deny you entry and flag you like for life. I don't understand. There's been US presidents that have smoked pot and didn't heal, but like get the fuck out of here. Don't ever let anyone have an effect on you and how you feel with your emotions and your reactions. Don't let anybody make you feel shame or regret or any of that negative bullshit. Other human beings should not be able to affect you, if that makes sense. Like it's okay to be emotionally invested in someone, but nobody should be able to affect you to the point where your perspective on yourself is different. Don't be a pussy. Don't let your emotions and your fear or anxiety hold you back from making really rash, irresponsible decisions. And I know that sounds like stupid fucking advice, but some of those like big crazy leaps of faith and rash decisions, they have, they have paid off most. You're just gonna flatline through life and then you're gonna wake up at 65 and you're gonna go jerk off with Phil. Fucking pointless. Don't ever let somebody else's expectations of you reflect how you feel about yourself. For example, if you're in a friendship or relationship with someone and they're getting angry with you because you are not who they wanted you to be, that's not okay. And don't let that affect you. Be unapologetically yourself. And that being said, you should never get angry with someone for them not meeting your expectations because it's it's not their fault that you had expectations of them. Fucking drop a knowledge. Something that you're gonna have to accept in life is that people are not gonna like you. And that's okay. There is a group of women that live in my building and I call them the dog snob club. But four middle-aged women and they fucking hate me. They just fucking hate me and they hate my dog and they hate my apartment and they hate everything about me for no reason but that that's okay. If I let that affect me, living in this building would suck. It's them, it's their issue, it has nothing to do with me. If you have situations where people don't like you and it bothers you, let it go, drop it. It's none of your business. Don't ever put single in your bio on Instagram or any other type of social media. This 
may sound very petty, but you look like a thirsty fucking idiot. And I'll leave this on a high note. My last piece of advice today for you is when you're inviting somebody over for an intimate evening, make sure you run around and flush all your toilets because you never know if you left a turd in there.